the hell are you doing? Sure. I am going to drive this car. Pretty, you see how the doors work? I said, yeah. You can hit the targets. I can hit the targets. You can hit targets with these doors. A lot you, easier. Wait, you're really taking off? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can't get a G-Wagon. Oh, my phone's in there. Don't lose my phone. Thanks, Dad. I, do you even know how to drive this thing? What, wait, are you serious? It's not even a manual transmission. <laughs> See, wait, wait, what did you say? Wait, how do you put it here? No, I said, how do you use the airlift? I already, oh. I already put it on. Oh, okay. There's a lot of potholes in town. That interior is sick. It is. Oh, yeah, I did just race. Well, I guess I gotta go get in this G-Wagon. You're good. Woo! Bye, Britt. What's up, Life Ride Nation? Do, 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 do. JL Audio Man. <laughs> so tough. <laughs> All right, so it is officially our last day in Chicago, but we still have something to do. But before we get into all of that, I did want to give you guys a heads up. We will be at SEMA, SEMA 2019. Yes, if you're going to be at SEMA, look Come us up. Come say hi. You can find some of our schedule on the SEMA site under celebrities. Under celebrity if, appearances. If celebrity appearances, you'll see Brittany and Lightbright, not me. I'm actually not considered a celebrity. He's equally, as, equally as important. But, but only leave, Brittany's name and Lightbright is on there, not I'll leave Kevin. either a link below or honestly, I might just try to write out the, the schedule below where you guys can find us. If you are attending SEMA, so you can come say hi or come watch or go whatever, do anything <laughs> that you want to do. So heads up there. The Supra will be at SEMA. Ironically enough, the Jeep will not but the super will be which is pretty awesome so we had somebody that wanted the super there and so we're doing a lot of work to it for sema yeah and, and for fun and all this work that we've done over the past year to the jeep people are like eh i know it's the weirdest <laughs> thing honestly because i think the jeep's way cool i mean the super is pretty dang awesome also yeah. but speaking <laughs> of the jeep versus the super so one thing that the Jeep has really spoiled us on, and no, it's not that Hemi sound, although that is amazing. It's the audio. So ever since we upgraded the Jeep audio with the JL Audio speaker sub and amp, subpar audio really sucks. <laughs> yeah, so I, so we traded the Super in on this Lamborghini because it has a good audio system in it. That's not what we did at all. That's not what we did at all. The Super, although we are building it to be a race car, we're building it to be on the drag strip and the road course and be fast and freaking awesome, we still want to daily drive it. We still want it to be a comfortable, amazing car that you can drive to and from the track, just like we do the Jeep with the trails. Yeah, I actually, once we get done with uh, a lot of this Jeeping, I might actually want to take Brittany around the country in the Supra and come race your guys' asses. So if you have other things besides a Jeep, if you've got American Muscle, you've got Import, you've got whatever you want, come race her on a track all across the country. I think we're just gonna Supra. take a tour around the country in the Supra. So we want to upgrade the audio because we're gonna be in it Yeah, because we're gonna be, well, because well, we'll, we'll be driving, driving it, it to and from and the tracks. So with all that being said, we are today on our last day. It sounds plus here in, in Naperville. Naperville? Naperville, Naperville. Naperville, it's at the Iron Gate Motor Plaza. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna upgrade the Super Audio today. All right, what was that? <laughs> I don't know. So tough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. So I am here today with Marty, who's the owner of Sounds Plus. Now, the reason that we're here, other than the fact that they work on, what do you guys work on? We work on everything, the high-end luxury to old resto mods, some even some classic vintage uh, import stuff. So I know we saw the Lamborghini out front. Yep. We've got this trail duster right here as well, which is pretty <laughs> insane. Pretty unique. <laughs> But on top of that, you guys have been around for... We've been in business since 1997 and uh, really have expanded over the years um, and, and really doubled our size in the last two years at this brand new facility. And I know that we can trust them basically to achieve what we want with our Toyota Supra. We really, really want to kind of mimic what we've achieved with our Jeep, which is we want to build the Supra to be able to drive comfortably all the way to the racetrack where we can beat the absolute out of it and then drive it home. But 
audio is a lot more complicated than right, I think right. people believe. It, it can be. This is a brand new build, brand new car. Um, there's some new technology in it. Uh, we're going to incorporate some DSP processors in it and uh, some brand new state-of-the-art JL Audio product. The DSP you kind of have to do with BMW type stuff, right? Because right. of the way they right. run their, their yeah, audio. The DSP, uh, that, that car poses some challenges. It's not just simply replace speakers, put an amplifier in. It's going to be correcting what BMW seems to think is what the factory sound should be. And we think we can make it better than that. And D DSP is digital signal processing. Digital yes. signal processing. So right. just digital for people processing. that are maybe trying to learn a little yeah. something. Right. And, and the reason you also want to pick a place that you can trust is they're tearing into your entire vehicle. I have had very bad experiences with places that are like, oh, I'll do that for X dollars lower than everybody else. Yes. But then you get your vehicle back and, and it buzzes and, and it rattles, buzzes parts are missing, rattling, things are right. missing, they didn't put Plastics. the bolts back in. That's the worst thing, right? You break a clip and they're like, I don't have that clip and they just shove it back together. You're driving yeah. down the road. Something, yeah. you know. Something falls off, it's not good. Yeah. Cheaper is not always better. So right. not only are we trusting these guys to tear into the Supra, because again, we're not going to be here during this build process, but we want to take a moment to kind of explain to you guys exactly what we're doing and why we're doing it, which brings us to guest number two. <laughs> Ta-da! Yes, yes. Here we are. This guy right here. <laughs> All right. So for those of you that don't know, so this is Mark with Car Audio Fabrication, and he's actually a huge YouTuber. He believe flew, it or not. He flew in from Alaska, right? Yeah. Flew from Alaska. Flew in from Alaska. It's nice and warm here. Nice and warm. <laughs> but for real, so we're doing an entire collaboration project to make this Supra amazing on the inside when it comes to audio. So we have the geniuses here. No, I'm talking to you. Okay. Over <laughs> yeah. here at Sounds Plus in terms of making sure that the audio is not only installed correctly, wired in correctly, but to make sure that the staging, we'll get into a little bit of more of that in a bit, uh, is all proper so that the audio itself, the sound quality is perfect. And then we have Mark here who's going to make sure that not only does it sound perfect, it's going to look awesome, it's but gonna it's going to look, look freaking awesome. So what do you do? Tell us a little bit more about you and your channel. So yeah, my channel is Car Audio Fabrication. I focus on uh, teaching people how to master car audio, how to design, build, and install their dream car audio systems. That's my little spiel. <laughs> but uh, basically, like you said, Marty's going to be doing the install, and then I'll be focusing on the fabrication. So I'm going to be making the amplifier rack beauty panel that's going to go over the amplifier beauty and Oh. Yeah, beauty. <laughs> it's got to be pretty. It's going to be going over the amplifier, and then it's going to be over the mid bass speakers that are OEM in the vehicle as well. And then I'll be building a custom subwoofer enclosure. And we'll talk about this, but it's going to be designed, purpose built, because I know you guys like to race this car and get on it. So we have we have something for him to talk. He has about some there. tricks up his sleeve. So this right. is going to be, and honestly, it's going to be a really fun project. I'm sad we're not going to be here to show you kind of a step by step. But we're going to go over as much of the information now so you guys can kind of get an idea of what's going on. He, he's going to have a step-by-step -step on his channel though, right? Yeah, he will. He'll have a video yep. on his channel. And of course, I will leave links in the description below for not just car auto fabrication, but also for Sounds Plus. You right. guys can check both of them out. We'll have some video and some pictures of the build process on the front half. Gracefully, you can get in here, Brittany. <laughs> All right, so since our Supra is not here, to kind of give you guys a little bit of more spatial awareness of what we're about to talk about, we're sitting in this wonderful Vanderhall here. Right, right, Vanderhall Venice. So, in terms of our Supra, what exactly are we putting in there product wise? So what we're doing is we're, uh, we're really going to upgrade the front door speakers in the car. We're going to replace the factory four inch and one inch uh, components with JL Audio C5 series of speakers. So we've got the door speakers that we're replacing. So right. those are going to integrate into the factory spots, just better quality speakers. Correct, correct. Where are we going from there? So we're going to keep the factory radio in the dash because that's a great source material and source point. Um, and then we're going to add to it, we're going to add JL Audio's eight channel VXI series amplifier. Okay. It's, it's going to allow us to um, wire up the front door speakers and then incorporate and reuse those factory roofers that are behind the seats. Perfect. Right. So the Super already has speakers that are behind the seat, but they're literally like right 
right. here, right. like right, right, right by your seatbelt. So what are we doing about those? So we're gonna keep those factory speakers, we're gonna eliminate those. Um, they really don't have any benefit, sound benefit to the overall sound system since they're right over your shoulder. And since this car is gonna be used for some racing and some drifting, we're gonna remove them from, from weight savings too as well since we're gonna leave them out. So we can be super fast down super the drag fast. strip. And you guys might remember, we kind of discussed having that, that sort of presence of a speaker right here when we did the audio upgrade on our Jeep because the Jeep has speakers right above your head. And not only are the speakers just poor quality sound, so you have this awful sound like right by your head, but it's so close that it's the loudest speaker. They're more there for volume. In the Jeep, we left them there. We just have them completely shut off so that they're not interfering with the better sound quality of the JL audio speakers. In the Super, we're just gonna completely get rid of them. Correct, correct. So the, the amplifier is gonna allow us to do some other neat things. Because it's got a digital sound processor built into it, it's gonna allow us to do some focus of the information and the sound right on the driver's seat. So we're going to focus all of that singer, all of that band information as if you were sitting at the concert watching them in the front row. So a lot of people call that staging, correct? Correct. Okay, so we went over this again in the other video as well, but I wanna go a little bit more in depth to it. So as far as staging goes, it's more of um, a positioning of where all of that audio is focused. Correct. So when you're sitting at a concert, if you're sitting dead center in the seat, all of that sound is all hitting you at the same exact time. Correct, all that information is being, is arriving to your ears at the same yeah. time. Versus where if you're sitting, let's say, to the right of the concert seating, so say in the passenger seat, Correct. the speakers over here are gonna hit you, that audio sound wave is gonna hit you before the speakers way over there on the driver's side, right? Right, right. right. So it gives you this different positioning or this different staging. So there's a way to actually, it's sort of a time delay almost. Correct, so we can actually, we'll actually take some measurements with a tape measure and we'll, we'll determine the distance from the driver's headrest to the passenger door, the distance from the driver's door to the headrest, and we'll input that information into their amplifier, and it will then, it'll adjust the sound to arrive at the driver's seat all at the same time. You never really imagine just how much engineering and work and just knowledge goes into audio. People just put these giant boxes together in their garage, slap a sub in their back, and be like, yeah, sweet, that sounds great, when it could definitely sound way better. That's Isn't goal. that right, Mark? That's the goal. That's right. <laughs> I heard it snickering over there. <laughs> so what we'll probably do though is maybe measure right between us because she's more of the audiophile and she loves her audio more. So yeah. with our car, we might just go right between the seats. Yeah. So that way it's... That's what I was going to mention. So what Marty will be able to do is he'll actually be able to create two different tunes in the amplifier. So you could have a tune where it's optimized just for the, the driver position, but you can also... Yourself, right? Right. So you're by yourself, right? So then you get the optimized sound, but you can also have a tune if you have two people in the vehicle or you know, whatever you're doing there. So. <laughs> Three people. Wow. As far as audio placement, so we're, we're all doing, we're using JL Audio products, and, and then we're also using a subwoofer, correct? And then we're putting in their 10-inch uh, TW3 series woofer and a custom enclosure in the trunk. And speaking of the subwoofer, that brings us to, again, Mark, who's going to go over exactly how we're going to incorporate all this into the Super so that it not only sounds great, but again, it looks amazing. Now he's got his iPad here with him as well to really show us because he's come up with renderings. Yep. Tell me what we're doing. All right, so we're doing quite a bit here. Whenever I'm starting to do a fabrication build, I'm going to look kind of at the OEM DNA of the vehicle. I don't just launch into building everything right away, right? You mean you don't just build like a square box in your garage and no, we, mail that off? We gotta take it the next level. <laughs> so so what we do to get started is I'm gonna start looking at kind of the, the, like I said, the DNA of the car. And one of the first areas I'll usually look is the actual door panel. Okay. So on this door panel here, you can see that we have, you know, some hard lines, like right here along the door panel. It's, it's straight and then it just has an angled cut mm -hmm. with like a small little radius in there. Yeah. Yeah. And then something else I want to call your attention to because it's a, a design element that I incorporated is if you see around this tweeter here, it has this kind of shape uh, where it's circular, but then it has like this little bevel that kind of yeah. comes out. But overall, design element wise, this door panel, very straight lines. Right? So that's kind of what you're talking about in terms of DNA of the vehicles. You're actually taking <clears throat> design aspects that are already in the vehicle from factory and right. you're using that to create your box so it looks like it belongs. Exactly. We want it to look like it's part of the vehicle. Uh, we're going to make it look cool too, yeah. right? But we don't want it to look like it stands out, like it was just thrown in there. Yes. 
So on the dash, again, hard lines, right? Yep. And then they also have this nice element of this like carbon fiber going through here, and then there's some red accents. So we have that speaker element, we have the hard lines, we have the red, the red accents and the carbon fiber. That's kind of what I have in my mind for what I want to do with the design. Okay, perfect. So we'll talk about the amplifier rack first, but this is basically what I came up with for the rendering. sits over our nice JL VXI amplifier in the middle there. And then you'll see on the left and right, that's where the OEM mid-bass speakers are. We're getting rid of those factory grills. We're gonna be doing uh, new grills, actually matching some of the mesh material for the JL Audio subwoofer that we're gonna be using. Okay. And again, here's that design element. If we zoom in here, remember the tweeter? How it had- Oh yeah, the beveled edge and straight, okay. Yep, exactly, so we pulled that in. You can see we have red accents, and then on the inside here, there's actually gonna be a carbon fiber piece. So we're tying everything together from the vehicle. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be cool, I'm excited to build this. So the other thing that we wanna consider when we're designing something like this is serviceability. You know, some people might take something like this and they bolt it into the vehicle and then like it's impossible to get to the bolts if you need to service the amplifier. And that's, that's not what we, we wanna go for. We wanna be able to easily access the amplifier if we need to connect to it to do any tuning, okay. um, if we need to adjust any settings. So if you see this panel on the inside here, this okay. will actually have, will have a, like almost like a little like strap, like a little cloth strap that you'll be able to get your finger in, like right here. So yeah. it doesn't draw your eye to it. Yeah, it's not hands. obvious, but it's there. But it's there, and then it's functional, because what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to grab that, and that panel is actually going to be on these super strong neodymium magnets that hold it in place. So you'll just be able to pop that open, and now all of a sudden, boom, we have access to the hardware that holds this whole assembly down. So you can remove it. You can take it out easily, and you can access your amplifier for tuning and whatever you need to. So that makes perfect sense. So remember, again, we want this to be a fully functional race car and daily driver. Those aren't usually two words that you use in the same sentence. Right. So being able to remove this, because it's not going to weigh a ton. No. But if you really, really want to save some weight, being able to quickly and easily remove these is actually pretty awesome. Right. So let's talk about the sub enclosure. Fantastic. All right. And if you look at these little details up in the corner, the idea with these is that's where the brackets are going to be, the brackets are going to be hidden to actually mount this into the vehicle. Okay. And again, we'll be using magnets. They'll have some nice, real easy tabs that you can just pop those off by hand, and then you'll just use your tool to undo, undo Take them the off. bolt, and then that whole enclosure is going to come out. That's crazy. So it's serviceable, uh, easy to remove uh, right at the yeah. back. You only need the one tool and you're good to go. And we are using the JL Audio 10-inch uh, TW3 subwoofer, which we talked about a little bit earlier, but for those those of you that don't know, this is a slim subwoofer. Yeah, so that was really important because we need the trunk space. So this is actually amazing because this takes up zero space, basically. Yeah, yeah like you said, the mounting depth is actually it's like three and a half or four inches. So, I mean, literally when you hold up your hands like that, it's, it's actually that small. So the other thing that's important with subwoofer enclosures is the air volume, right? Yeah. So for some subwoofers, they might be a, a, you know, a small mounting depth, but they still require a big airspace. But what's nice about the TW3 is it also requires a small airspace. So we'll be going for, I believe that it's a little bit more than a half of a cubic foot. So that limits, you know, the depth of the enclosure, it limits the width of the yeah. enclosure, and then obviously we'll keep the height at the minimum it needs to be for the actual mounting depth of the subwoofer. Again, this, the Super is going to be at SEMA this year, and we wanted something that was going to look amazing, but we didn't want something that would take up too much space so we could still use the trunk. And we wanted something that was serviceable, that could be easily removed if we needed to. And honestly, you're hitting literally all the nails on the head. Yeah. The next time we see our 2020 Toyota Supra is going to be at 
SEMA. So 100% it'll, we'll be seeing all this in person for the first time. So this is what we're doing. It's gonna be fantastic and we can't wait to not just see it, but hear it yeah. at SEMA. The other good thing to remember is it's not about the quantity of speakers, it's about the quality, quality. of the speakers. Do 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 do! J Audio Man! Super J Audio Man! <laughs> All right, you guys, so honestly, I, I know this is much more informative uh, than usually our videos are, but every once in a while, I think that's awesome. I, I love personally learning, and I know that Kevin just... Just sit back and learn yourself yeah, today, all right? <laughs> this is going to be amazing, though. We can't wait to see the car at SEMA. Hopefully, we'll be able to meet a ton of you guys at SEMA as well. You can see it for yourselves. And, of course, don't forget to check out Mark a car audio fabrication, and of course, Marty over at Sounds Plus, and of course, Jail Audio. Jail Audio Man. Jail Audio Man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. Guys, we love you. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Remember, you can find all of your Light Bright Nation merch at lightbrightstudios.com. All of your Light Bright Nation decals at pixeldecals.com. We love you, and we will see you next time. Bye! Mwah! Yeah. Yeah. Don't forget about e3offroad.com. And of course, you can join e3offroad.com <laughs> slash join now. It's going to be awesome. Sweet. All right, so I'm officially driving, as you can see, not our Jeep, not a Nissan 350Z, but rather an Adventador. S. This is a Lamborghini Aventador S, you guys, that I'm driving. I've honestly, this is probably hands down the most expensive vehicle I've ever driven in my entire life. And it is insanely rad. Look at this interior, though. Wait, you didn't buy this car? Did I? I don't know. I thought Did you guys just bought it. Have you guys seen my co pilot? Hey, guys. Brittany's best friend over here. I'm just showing her if she drives a car like this. The doors are a little bit better <laughs> since they go up and they don't go sideways. This is perfect prime doors for hitting targets. There you go. Look at that. You can hit targets a lot easier. I can easier. hit aerial targets. This is the, the cockiest cockpit I've ever sat in on. Been in? Damn, Brittany. You look really good in this car. Do I? Should I get one? Is that what? Uh, I would get one if I were you. Did I definitely look good in this car?